the first because they may be gone, but their deeds outlive them. The headlines lingering from the previous administration's 50 running scandals still bush. Number three, bailout gate. It's not like Citibank's $50 million jet nor the million-dollar bathroom, but the insurance company AIG, which we bailed out in September, has confirmed it is still paying bonuses to the employees who made the deals that caused the company to nearly go belly up. These were credit default swaps, and AIG owed the 400 members of its financial product units a total of $450 million in bonuses, was contractually bound to pay them. And when we bailed AIG out, the Bush administration Treasury Department did nothing about making it possible to invalidate those contracts the way a bankruptcy judge would have. So you and I paid the bailout bonuses of the idiots at AIG whose stupidity crashed the company and required that we bail them out. Number two, Gitmo Gate. It continues. A judge has ruled that Galeb Nassar al Bahini must stay there even after seven years of detention without charge. We say he aided the Taliban. He says, yes, that's true. He was an assistant in the Taliban kitchen. Now, that's good enough for U.S. District Judge Richard Leon, who today ruled Bahani must stay there and quoted Napoleon as saying, an army marches on its stomach. Damn it all, Judge. Even Napoleon would have charged the cook with something, and Napoleon was a dictator. Number one, History Gate. More evidence not supporting the president's belief that historians will judge him more kindly than his current critics are doing. The Republican National Committee is meeting in Washington amid an undercurrent of insurrection against National Chairman Mike Duncan. Says RNC member Californian Sean Steele. Duncan should be ousted because he, quote, never criticized Bush when the president was wrong. The group is also poised to adopt a resolution criticizing the bloated bank bailout bill that Bush supported. Member Curly Hogland of North Dakota says Mr. Duncan must go because Bush appointed him and that while, quote, most of us strongly supported the Bush administration through the entire two terms, the last few months this bailout and the abandonment of capitalism really kind of sealed it. Wait, it gets worse. On the Today Show, Senate Minority Leader McConnell brought his memories of Mr. Bush and he also brought a bus. I was a strong supporter of the president, but presidential unpopularity is bad for the president's party. We suffered uh, losses in 06 and 08. Uh, we wish the president, uh, President Bush, well, uh, but frankly, we will not have to be uh, carrying that uh, sort of political uh, burden that we carried the last uh, two elections. You heard it, the Republican leader in the Senate saying George W. Bush is a political burden. Mr. Bush, the historians you are waiting to save you are not coming. You are in this box of infamy for good. A kind of, oh, Guantanamo Bay of presidential reputations.